Hi and welcome, this is Jamjar34 for another episode of Warhammer Sunday and it's number 32 um, I'm just going to get a little bit nearer yeah, a little bit nearer, done it, yeah cool so, um, number 32, yeah sweet getting there every Sunday, and I'm doing this on the Sunday which is all good um, yeah, back in the hobby kitchen, cooking up some awesome stuff. So, um, I've got all my paints and whatnot. A um, few comments and questions as usual, which is nice to see. Um, and doing some rat things on the um, in the kitchen today. Um, so yeah, get down some colour and. Yeah, nearly done. It's taking a little bit while, but it's got to be, it's got to be like that with these wrap things. So, as you can see, got a new T-shirt. Well, I've had this for ages. Just this crazy full, you know, BA Brackers type styling. Um, so, let's get on with the questions and comments, and go through my week and see what's cooking. So. Wargamer, Wargaming Wizard says, Hey brother, thank you for the shout out, much appreciated. No problem sir, great, great thing you're doing. Great thing, great thing. Take it easy, keep it up. Mini Warzone, yeah, another cracking video sir, nice one, smiley face. Cheers mate, um, yeah that, that um that cave troll um i was just seen the video of that and that's amazing it really was i want to see the base with it though so yeah that's amazing great tutor tutorial as well spot on so tattoo for you what's up good one my friend i hope you have a phenomenal week my friend I had a phenomenal week. Um, hard, tired, and not a lot of hobby done, unfortunately. Um, Frost and Fists, another another great show, my friend. How did you come by your catchphrase, the hobby kitchen? I'm always fascinated by hearing about these smiley face. Um, and that's from Wolf Brother Mifrost. So, let's go back a bit in time. Um, I had a friend from work, where I used to work. And he used to call me Jamjar. So that's basically why I got the name Jamjar. Um, 34 was the age of my age and it sounded quite good um, as well so it was a bonus um, I looked up on YouTube basically whether the name had been taken and it had so I had to put like 34 so that I could be distinctive to the other jam jar which is something I can't think what it is but it is um, I saw a few videos basically and it was um, some people are doing it in their kitchen and so that's sort of where the kitchen thing come through and um, basically a lot of people used to do them in rooms and obviously studios um, and I thought well jam jars don't go in studios all sheds they go in kitchens so my little area of painting and elsewhere because it's grown a little bit um, I'm going to start calling that the hobby kitchen where I'm cooking up some awesome stuff because um, obviously you cook in a kitchen sometimes and wash up but mainly cook and that's basically where it's come from is the fact of um, a jam jar is in the kitchen 
I'm not saying that jam jars just don't go into your kitchen. They can be out of the way. And so, yeah, that's basically it. Jam jar in the kitchen, my hobby kitchen, and that's where it's come from. So, thank you for that question. That's a cool one. I like that. Edic Beer, the beer man. Pudding. Another great episode, mate. I can't wait for the train comp to start. Smiley face. Nor can I. What is your favourite joke? Hmm. My favourite joke. Um. If I have five rabbits in this hand and six rabbits in that hand, what do I have? Big hands. Yeah, from the school kid, I had a joke book and that was the one that stood out. So, ask the questions, the comments, the jokes. But I will warn you, I'm not very good at telling jokes, so I hope that was alright mediocre is a, is allowed or crap I'm allowed I'm allowing that so right watch the video this morning that I've been waiting for a little bit train square competition video um, update um, ooh, it's looking good go over to um, the beer man's channel it beer 40k go over there Check out the competition, get involved with it. It runs on the 1st of March to and for six weeks. So, <laughs> time to do some train. So, um, right, um, there was a thing on Facebook from um, after the War Gaming Viking spud tape um he's doing a sort of i can't think what it is an event and it's called chill chill con 2017 um if you haven't seen it go on go on to his channel um go on to facebook um and sub him on youtube to you know obviously get what you need for the information it looks absolutely amazing um not sure whether i'm gonna go um but i probably could if i had the money but i've got to sort that out um i think it's up in sheffield i might be wrong just go over there and check it out but i think it's up in sheffield and that to me is a quite a long way to go at the moment um but it looks amazing it really does um it's got some awesome awesome um traders up there going it's all kicking off the dream's coming alive which is a good thing a lot of people over the last couple of years have got their dreams like um war games um and mini warzone movie studio um so to get this to get chill con 2017 awesome stuff his dreams coming alive now um so yeah sweet as sweet as so yeah check his channel out right so last thing i'm gonna do some painting while i'm talking yay um do whatever you like to do um, and build, paint, watch me, um, catch up with this video with me, um, I'm going to do some ratty, I'm loving my ratties at the moment, it's taking a little bit of time, but I'm getting there, there isn't I'm doing this to 100% of my capability. 
um, which is a good you know, look black one needs another coat but yeah I'm doing this to the capability that I am capable of doing So, I'm just going to stick that in there. If it goes in there. Where it fitted there when I was done it anyway. So I'll do some painting, got a bit more to talk about. Got some more tea to drink. But you yeah. right, double carry that. Hmm. Let's start off with a bit of black. Doing a bit of wheels today. So that's all cool. And that brush is probably gone. I can go. No, no. No, no, brush. This one probably. But there you go. So, um, back to the chin wagon chat chat. Um, yeah, so last week I had my little spraying course. Yeah, I um, and passed both parts. Good with his thumbs up, isn't he? Um, past P P A one, which is basically um, was a multiple choice um, of legalisation regulations um, and general information, and past that, and then I had the PA6, which is like the, um, the practical, and I passed that as well, so I was stoked, very, very tired, a lot of, you know, from the job I do, I, I was knackered, because it's quite physical, but this one was brain strain, brain strain, yeah, going back to school again. Um, but yeah, all good, I passed, so I can spray chemicals, um, herbicide, insecticide, and fungicide onto areas illeg um, legally responsibly and with competence so if you haven't heard a herbicide is basically 
spraying weeds. Um, a fungicide is spraying plants or shrubs with, um, with a f um, fungus, obviously, an insecticide. Have a guess. Um, spraying insects. Um, obviously, you know, it's got a, it's all quite. You're basically the one that gets in trouble if it all goes tipped up. But, but that doesn't mean, right? This is the thing. Garden center. Um. Garden center. I don't know whether you have them in America. Probably do. Probably called another name. Let me know. Um. But. Normal, normal people who haven't got this certificate can still go into a garden centre and spray their spray their plants with the chemical because the dilute. The, the actual liquid is basically not as it's harmful but it's not as potent as the stuff that I use at work so yeah um, beforehand I can I could go into garden center and use herbicide or an insecticide to kill off green fly or what what not but the stuff we use you have to have um, a legal certificate with a knapsack, knapsack sprayer. So, yeah, just to put that clear, doesn't just because you go into a garden centre and buy it, you don't you don't need a certificate for that. So, right, achievable April is coming back. In April. Um, during which time the beer man has his train competition so I'm still doing it um, so any of you that would like to do it in at starting the 1st of April are more than happy to come along but there's a twist I'm making it go into March um, mm. Um, I'm making it go into May for two weeks so that the people who can who are doing the train competition can then do um, come out of that if they want to and go into this so it's basically going to run for six weeks starting on the 1st of April so if you can do it great if you can't because you're doing the train competition or another competition or whatnot, or you just can't do it, then that's fine. It's going to be um, just come in after you've done the train competition, do a model. Um, it's just to follow up on um, as last year um, Nick's New Year painting challenge, just to get you painting something. No rules, no regulations. Um, you can just build all, all month or paint one model. Um, it's just to bring the community together again and just get some painting done. That's basically what it is and see what you can achieve in April. If it's one model, it's one model. If it's two models, great. If it's a whole army, then even better. But that's what it is. It's basically from the 13th, 1st of April to the 13th of May. And as I I repeat myself, um, due to the um, train competition that the beer man's doing, it's going to run another two weeks afterwards. Just so the people who, if they do want to do it in April but can't because they're doing the train competition, which I understand, um, they can do a whole month of painting 
and post on um, Achievable April 2017. So, I think that's quite a good idea. So, I'll be doing both, no doubt. Right, what are we on? We're 20 minutes, I haven't done any painting yet. I've done a couple of wheels. I've been jibber jabbering again. Stop your jibber jabber, you crazy fool. Um, Now let's get things out of the way. Green on here, dirty little green. Wolfstone, Wolfstone glow. Sorry, guys, I'm just looking to see if I can get the Wolfstone glow look green. Green, green, green. Got my little tap it up all side there. And I, right. Yummy. Got that green somewhere. There we go. Oh, that's lovely green. Oh, that's a lovely green. You like that green? A loot. So let's get some lovely little green colour on it. So the last thing I'm going to talk about, the last thing, is Adepticus Titanus or Titanius or Tinkitus basically Epic or what they want they won't call it Epic I don't think um, basically the small version of um, 40k um, yeah there's a lot of rumours about it so Oh, this is so nice to get this blooming green on there. Wicked. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it. I can't wait till they bring it out. Um, 
but I'm hoping they do the whole epic thing where they do the little models as well um, the only thing that I've got a problem with is probably the fact of um, um, Forge World I'm meant to be doing the Titans Which isn't a problem because to, um, Ford World do wicked models, but it's just the cost. You know what? And I'm starting to get that urge of I want everything and everything now or two days ago. don't know how good it feels to have some paint on this it really is I've done loads of prep work on this yeah. it's nice to use a bit of glean um, yeah I don't, I don't really know there's a, it looks pretty cool from what I've seen, but I'm not sure about the pricing of the Titans and the stuff and what they're going to actually do with it. It's a bit of a concern, but I must say. GW have stepped it up a mark with the different different um, box collections the Space Marine um, need another coat of this but um, yeah, and the games, you know, like all these Horace Heresy games, um, what can you say, you can't really moan, well hopefully not, not with what they're doing at the moment to be honest. Um, people will you know what it's like you do what you like oh, it's so good to get some green on you don't realize I'm like whoa ping in tighten that up Um, yeah, so I went round my auntie's yesterday, done some work for her, which is all cool. Got my orders for next week. So, um, keep going for that green pot. Gold on here. Might do half and half. Do half the half time. Um, YouTube have changed it again. They're not prepping their videos now. They're uploading it unless they've changed it again. Um, so this should go up quite quickly. Oh man, this green's lovely. I love this green. 
I don't like green full stop. This green stop man. It's darker. It's even darker. So right then chaps, I'm gonna leave you. Have a good week. Thank you thank you very much for your comments and questions and jokes. Um hope you all have a good hobbying week. Hope you have a good and a phenomenal week. Busy one, so that's all cool. Um, and yes, as usual, this is Jam Jar 34 signing out of the uh, hobby kitchen um, for this episode of um, Warhammer Sunday on a Sunday. Um, so take it easy, take care of yourself, and keep those videos and keep doing your hobby. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.